Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. We are going to do the daily reading as a pre-recorded possible premiere, or I'm just going to put it up so you guys don't have to wait. Um, I'll just probably post it. But um, we're going to take it nice and easy today, right? And we got the angel answer cards here, and we got the romance angels, and we got the tarot. So yesterday we started with um, air signs. Today we will start with fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is going on? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is for tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay. Aries, we have big happy changes. So that's good. That's one of my most favorite cards. I love that card. Leo, we have taking action. Okay. And Sagittarius, we have remain positive. So you get the Roseanne Barr card. See her? See her in there? So, strong law of attraction, positive affirmations, remaining positive, remaining in a positive mind space. Um, so, head space. So, let's see what the Romance Angel cards have to say. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is going on? Aries... Leo and Sagittarius. Aries, big happy changes and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So this isn't necessarily a horrible ex, especially if you're going to be happy about it. Right? So let's see. We'll pull some cards on that and we will find out. Leo, taking action in regards to some sort of spark here, some sort of flame going on. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We got chemistry. So, getting back up on that horse, Leo. Sagittarius, we have remain positive and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership here, so... Let's see where all this is going. All right. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is going on? Keep in mind the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Coming back. They've been watching. Leo and Sagittarius. I see. Okay. Um, so working on the situation, um, putting in effort, putting in time, putting in energy into the situation here, right? So we got the Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself, improving yourself. They're improving um, for you, right? Working on them. So let's see what's going on. That's Earth Energy. Aries, this person has been watching you for a while here. Um, they've been working on themselves, I feel. I don't necessarily feel like this is like a horrible ex situation. Um, this is just someone from your past that's been kind of keeping an eye on you and is going to be coming out of the woodwork unexpectedly. I feel like this is a good energy not a horrible ex energy with that big happy changes so this is going to be a nice surprise so this may be somebody that you have worked with previously or made some sort of connection with and um ted's going crazy 
Sorry about that. So this is somebody that you've made some sort of connection with before in the past. They're aware of you. You are aware of them. Um, I just don't feel like it's a bad ex energy. I don't. I feel like they've been working on themselves. They've been improving themselves and they want to put effort towards you. They've been watching you for a while. So here they come. Surprise, surprise with that Knight of Swords. Got a lot of air and earth here. So here they come and they may create some big happy changes in your life here, Aries. So expect the unexpected, right? Very nice. Leo, um, this is a situation where either there was some, there's a connection here. Maybe they're asking you for to do something for them or you went into their place of work or maybe you guys work together or something like that. I see pinnacles here, like money exchange, but there's this connection here between the two of you. Um, so yeah, I feel like time and effort is going to be put into this. I feel like it's a, Hey Leo, how you doing manifestation here with the magician chemistry. And I feel like you're going to want to take action on this situation. They're going to let you know, they're going to be like hinting a little bit. You're going to feel the heat, um, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and maybe this is something you've been manifesting, right? With that magician card here. So I feel like an exchange of services, like, I mean, it could be you go to the gas station and, or something like that and fall in love with the cashier. I don't know. Something like that. Um, they're paying you for something. You're paying them for something, I feel. But or working on something for them, working together, distinct possibility here with all these pinnacles. But the heat is on here, Leo. It's a spark, it's a flame, it's been ignited, something that you've been wanting, and I feel like you're going to take action on it. So, interesting. Sagittarius. Um, I feel like there's new love brewing here with this Ace of Cups. I feel like, and you can assign the roles as you wish, but I'm going to read it just like I'm feeling it, okay? You don't feel good enough for this person, okay? You want them to give you a chance, but you want them to see you in a very specific light. You want them to take you very seriously. You want them to see that you are a settled energy and you've been working on yourself to improve yourself, to establish a king of pinnacles kind of mentality. Um, you know, you want to present yourself like you've got it going on so that this person will give you a shot here. This new love will give you a chance. Now, this could all be vice versa, right? It's a general reading, but remain positive here. Um, I feel like this person is going to be receiving you. It's, you're going to be very well received. I could be dealing with an earth sign. It, male or female doesn't matter. Got a little water here. This is a new love situation, and you just want a shot with this new love. And you want them to know that you're serious. You want them to know that you've got it going on and you want them to see that you will put work and effort, not only into yourself, but into the situation. You just want a shot here. And I feel like it's, you're, you're just simply going to be well received, right? So remain positive, strong law of attraction card there. Um, this will, this will work out beautifully. I feel, um, Maybe you're just not um, very confident right now, um, but you will be. You will be. All right, Sagittarius. All right. And still some water energy cancer scorpio and pisces for tomorrow wednesday september 9th cancer scorpio and pisces 
Cancer, we have meditation brings answers. So you're looking for answers in regards to a specific situation. Where is this going? What are we doing? Is this the one? Scorpio, communicate clearly. So maybe you're giving somebody the silent treatment or you need to be very clear in what you're doing. Um, get out of the mystery. Be, be very blunt. Um, Pisces, we have compromise. Libra scales there. So making a decision, coming to an understanding, balancing the scales, right? So let's see what the romance angels have to say. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. For tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer. Meditation brings answers. And we got the honeymoon card here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. To me, this is very Six of Swords in the Tarot. Should I move on from this? Should I let this go? I feel like that's the question. Is it just done? That's the question. You're really searching. Scorpio, communicate clearly and engagement. What do you want here? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel like your person is kind of saying, I can't read your mind, Scorpio. You're going to have to open up to me. Pisces, compromise and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So big attraction here between the two of you. One of you is more ready than the other. So there's going to have to be some sort of understanding and some sort of compromise in regards to the situation. Because that attraction I don't feel is going away. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is going on? For tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, you're, not, you're worried. Should I turn my back on that? Scorpio and Pisces. Okay, so be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. You could have strong fire in your chart, right? Queen of Wands. <sighs> kind of Stella getting her groove back type of situation. Um, awakening that passion. Um, going after the things that you want. Attraction here, chemistry here. Male and female doesn't matter. Um, a situation where maybe you've taken some hits to your self-esteem. Maybe the situation itself is, is bringing you down. Um, but rest assured, you're going to be all right. So cancer. If you can hear the weed eating, I'm sorry. Somebody, my neighbor's weed eating right now for some ungodly reason. I guess because they got weeds, right? And they need to eat them. Um... Cancer, the question here that you are searching for is, should I let this go? Should I move on from this? And it's stressing you out. Should I turn my back on this situation and, and start looking towards the future? Because you're just finding that this is a dead end. This situation is a dead end. That's how you're feeling. And it's really um, hurting you, hurting your confidence. Like this isn't going the way I want it to go. And it's really messing with your self-esteem. So I just feel like, you know, meditate on it. See what answers that your guides um, and your ancestors and whoever you run to in a med uh, meditative state. Make sure you say a prayer of protection for yourself so that the right energies come to you and give you the correct answers. I usually pray for the white light of protection and for unconditional love to come towards me when I'm in any kind of altered state, including meditation. It is an altered um, state. 
So I just feel like, is it time to go? And do I put any more time and effort into this situation? Because it's really dragging me down, right? You don't even feel like yourself. So, yeah, meditate and see when answers come to you. I feel like you already know the answer, but meditate on it and see, see if this is simply worth your time anymore. All right. Scorpio. What do you want, Scorpio? I can't read your mind, Scorpio, right? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You're going to have to state what you want in this situation. Look at all this fire, all fire here. There's victory here. This person wants your attention. They want you to talk to them and tell them what you want. They want it all. Uh, Four of Wands here, they're looking at you like higher levels of commitment here, uh, very passionate about you, very attracted to you, but they don't know what you want. So you got to like, uh, I don't know, shake off that, that scorpionic mystery and just say, you know, I want you too. I, this is what I want too, because it looks really good here. A lot of chemistry here between the two of you, but... Um, I just <laughs> keep on saying, I can't read your mind, Scorpio. You got to tell me. You got to tell me. Um, so let's talk, right? Let's talk. They want it. Do you want it? Pisces, look at this. Okay, so man, the attraction is strong here between the two of you. And it's kind of woken you up. Okay, but here's the thing. The person that you're dealing with is going through a lot of pain here. Okay, so they can't, they can't pursue you at the rate that, that you want to be pursued. And I do feel like it's messing with your confidence a little bit, yet at the same time kind of awakening you to... Uh, passions again okay um watching each other they watch you you watch them this person that you're dealing with isn't 100 percent ready for um a big grand uh, relationship okay they've been through it but the attraction is there um so we're gonna have to come to an understanding here um we're gonna have to you know realize you know this is, this is what your person's feeling like. Hurt. A lot of pain. Um, now you can research them. You can, uh, like, what's the hold up here? The hold up is they're feeling pretty low. Feeling pretty bad. But you can research them. You know, you can research them. Um, watch them. Look at them. Background check them. Whatever you need to do. Get readings on them. Uh, like what what's the deal uh, the deal is that they're still hurting from a lot of things could be past lover friends family whatever but they're just still in a lot of pain so we're going to have to come into an understanding of that and not take it so personally because I feel like you're internalizing this Pisces and it's really messing with your confidence level right but you're turned on by this person so um interesting do what you got to do do what you got to do just just don't take this personally let this person do do what they need to do and see where it goes. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Taurus, Virgo, 
in Capricorn, Taurus. We have abundance, so some blessings. It's good. Virgo, you also have compromise with those Libra scales there. Pisces just got that. Capricorn, we have choosing a new direction. So moving on. All right. Let us see what the romance angels have to say. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, we have an abundance of flirting. So maybe flirting at work. This is a blessing, new energy coming towards you. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So don't block them blessings. Don't block them flirty blessings. Good God. Virgo, compromise and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be legal. Um, but to me, this is very... Uh, devil card in the tarot right we got to come to an understanding about that so let's see where that goes and it could be anything right could be anything toxic that we gotta figure out capricorn choosing a new direction and staying optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so yeah being guided right wanting something new new energy um and very optimistic Right? And staying positive that the right person is out there. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Taurus, Ooh, okay, hold on, Taurus, okay, <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, okay, little bit, little bit, little bit, I do feel like it's at work, Virgo, and Capricorn, all right, so, using your intuition not a lot of things have been revealed to you yet but they will be when the time is right the high priestess protects her secrets right very intuitive individual you could be dealing with you could be very intuitive yourself so let's see what's going on here taurus um i feel like there's a little bit and dare i say crush going on a workplace romance brewing here it's on the hush hush just a little bit little bit at a time we got to be careful i see abundance here i see page i see pinnacle i see like this is a workplace situation brewing here and we got to be careful we got to keep it on the on the low um but there's a lot of flirting people can kind of you know feel it in the air um, but uh, money is a worry, so be careful, right? We got to keep guarded, guarded, guard everything very carefully. But there's hints, um, there's flirting, there's com the communication is clearly open. But I do feel like it's most definitely a workplace situation here brewing. So be careful here, right? Because this is the miser of the tarot. Be careful with your money careful with your money right we gotta keep it on the low maybe you gotta you know if something really happens here something really pops off here between you and this person you gotta have to report it to HR or something so that they're aware um I don't know what your policy is at work but I feel like this is a workplace situation careful with your money just saying <laughs> You don't want to lose your job over some flirting here. <laughs> Taurus, what is going on? All right. 
Virgo. We have compromise, codependency, page of wands. This person wants your attention. I feel uh, a bit of an obsession with you. I feel like you're playing it pretty cool here, Virgo. I feel like you're keeping your emotions and everything under lock and key. And you're going to be following your intuition here. But you're going to be hearing from this person. This is, you know, they... I feel like you know, like, they're kind of bad news. But they do have a bit of an obsession with you. Um, and wanting your attention. So, you're going to be hearing from them. You may talk to this person. But you're going to talk to them very carefully. You're not going to let on. You know, you're going to keep your kind of emotions to yourself, see what they have to say. You may indulge in giving them a little bit of attention. Um, there, It's a lot of fire here. Um, very attracted to you, a little obsessed with you. But could be bad news. So be careful and understand what you're dealing with. Okay, be careful. Capricorn. Very disappointed with the situations that you have dealt with in the past, but you're closing out that chapter, right? You don't know what's ahead of you, but you are excited to find out. You just don't want to deal with past energies anymore. They were very disappointing. A lot of failed um, situations. So now it's time to put a close to all that. It's time to put a close to the sadness. It's time, you know, to heal and just get some closure. And start realizing that the future is bright. You're very optimistic. You're, you're in a positive mindset. And you're looking and being guided towards some wish fulfillment in a new direction here. It's not, you, you feel that in your soul, but not everything has been revealed to you. But you're excited for what is out there, Capricorn, which is a nice shift for you, right? That is a nice shift for you. So on your way to some new energy and staying optimistic and speaking the correct words, the right words and having the right mindset is going to bring you wish fulfillment even faster. Everybody and their brother is weed eating and mowing the lawn and what the hell's going on out there? All right, this is for air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is going on? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, we have Peaceful Resolution. Libra, we have No Need to Worry. Love that card, Libra. I love that card, because you know we worry about stupid shit. Aquarius, not the right time, not the right time. Okay, let's pull some romance angels and see what we got going on. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what is going on? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, we have, whoop, and that one wanted to pop out too. So I guess you're going to get two. Uh, making peace with the past. We have staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So making peace with the past and God knows moving on to the new. Hallelujah. Very different, right? different. Love it. Libra, no need to worry. 
this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So there's no point in stressing about it. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of when, right? Ain't that always the way, Libra? God help us. Aquarius, not the right time for passion. Mm. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So uh, I want to say you still could be pissed at this person. That's a distinct possibility. They need to give you a hot minute. Maybe there's obstacles in the way of this situation. Let's pull some tarot and find out. Before we can get it going, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Keep in mind, the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, big decision, let it go. Libra, stuck energy. And Aquarius, okay, so quiet. We've been quiet, we've been healing, we've been in our cave. The hermit, or the person you're dealing with has, or both, right? Kind of holding love at bay, that wish fulfillment, kind of away from us. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo, or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. Just a lot of healing, a lot of time. Need time, need time to think, time to heal. Need some quiet time. All right. Lord Gemini. Um, let's see if we can get all this in my hands. Making peace with the past. Making a decision to release it. It's time. All right. Um, quiet time for Gemini is over. We're letting it go. Um, too much baggage. We're releasing it. Right. Yesterday is heavy. Let it go. Um, and you're making that decision. You're tired of being. Um, you're tired of being in your cave. I feel like you're you're getting ready to bust out of your cave healing mode. Um, you're seeing things very differently when it comes to love, and you're very optimistic about it. Positive positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel like there's something new brewing here for you, or will be. And I feel like you're ready for it because you you've made peace with the past. You're releasing the past. It's exhausting. And you're going to be getting to know this person as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So getting to know you, Gemini. So it's very good. Libra, Libra. There you are in your own reading, looking beautiful as always. The Empress, right? Maybe the Empress has been in her cave. And she's going to be emerging bigger and better than ever. Stuck energy, though. You guys getting this stuck, stuck energy. Um, this could be the other person that you're dealing with. There is going to be a new beginning here, Libra, right? Um, this person needs time to heal, needs time to process, needs time to do whatever it is that they got to do. They just feel so very stuck. You feel stuck. They feel stuck. But... We're going to get unstuck. No need to worry here. There will be growth. There will be abundance. There will be a new beginning. And you know who they are. They know who you are. Okay? This person's dealing with a lot. Maybe you are too. It's just timing, timing. No need to worry about it though. Keep moving on with your life. Um... If you're not the one that's stuck, keep it moving, Libra. Talk to other people, you know. Go out. Do your thing. If you're not the one that's stuck. Right? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Why wait? We gotta live our lives, right? So, no need to worry. No need to stress out about this. No need to bind yourself to this so hard. And when it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Nothing's going to be able to stop this from happening. It's simply going to happen. It is destined to happen. Um, it's just timing. All right. Aquarius. Um, you... 
Timing is bad, but there's a lot of passion heading your way pretty quickly. You may still be in healing mode, quiet mode, kind of cold. I mean, that's you, king of swords, energy, male or female. Maybe not ready for love, but maybe ready for something, Aquarius. <laughs> Shit. But there's somebody coming towards you pretty hot and heavy. Uh, you'll cut them off if you think they're a player. You won't even, you won't even entertain it. Um, passion, a lot of passion heading towards you. Going to warm you up. Going to melt that, melt that icy exterior, Aquarius. So uh, they're going to they're gonna want to um, do some things. Um, you may not be ready for it, right? Not the right time. Definitely not the right time for love. You're feeling pretty icy when it comes to love. But um, they're coming in anyway. They might get you going a little bit. Maybe awaken your passions a little bit. Maybe not your heart, but awaken other parts of you. Jesus, Lord. Um, timing's bad. Um, but... Whatever. <laughs> Just go lay this down. Shit. All right, Aquarius. That's what we've got going on. Um, that's what we got going on for everybody. Sorry I wasn't live. But we're doing the best we can over here. Look at my candles. I'm burning the hell out of them. We're going to have to get some more candles up in here. So I wanted to get you guys out a daily message. So I hope you like it. Good readings. Um, I'm doing well. I'm doing well, but um, sitting down here and like reading and everybody's energy and I was like, whoo, Virgo about killed me yesterday. Oh my God, I got so dizzy. Um, so we may do it like this. I may take a break from, you know, the dailies here and there, but we're going to get back on track a little bit at a time, right? A little bit at a time is all we can do. And um, yeah, so... Um, I may set this up as a premiere. I have to see what time it is. I may just drop it and let you guys go for it. Um, but we'll get you some time stamps, either me or Christine or whatever. It'll be all right. You guys have a great day out there. And I will talk to you all very soon. All right. God bless.